I think we might be getting quick. All right, it's been a while since I've done one of these Project Get Good updates, and um, we're gonna be talking today about how things have gone from weeks 66 to 70. Um, I, if you're like, this, this is my favorite thing that you do, I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up with it, but people seem to really have been liking the track guide, so that's kind of where I've been focusing, and I think it's been helping out. So, um, while we talk about some stuff that's going on, I'm going to throw up some race footage um, from a race just because it's way easier to hide cuts when I do things like that. So, here we go. <laughs> so, the last time we, we did one of these, I was at Spa, and we ended that week with our I rating at 1668. As of the time I'm recording this, I've gotten it up to 2132. If you're not um, hip with the the what IR means, that's a, a pretty decent jump. It went down in between. We're going to talk about that. Um, our safety reading at the end of that week was pretty low for what I'm usually at. It was an A 1.61. I did end up dropping down to B license there for a little bit, um, but now we're back up to an A 3.28. And the 15 minute races took me a little bit, a little while to get back used to that. And we did uh, the iRacing roar in between, which helped uh, helped get, get that back to where it needed to be. And yeah. So I'm just, I, I, I pulled up all these charts from the um, iRacing reports Discord bot. And I've got fancy graphics and stuff that will be coming up on screen as we talk. Um, just like we just finished up week six of the touring car uh, challenge in uh, 2022 season one. Just kind of where we're at. I'm, I record these things for myself as much as anybody else, and that helps me remember when I'm talking. Um, yeah, it was at Summit Point, and that is the Summit Point and the TCRs is my best combination in, in iRacing. So, um, this past week, I gained just alone about 615 IR. So, just to put things in perspective, the end of last season, I was at 1156 IR, which puts me in the top 63% of drivers in that season. And I was doing a different different car there. I was trying to learn the Porsche Cup. It was my first season doing that. And usually I do better in the, the second season than I do in the first. Um, and, but that season we had started off strongish, but like dropped pretty, pretty steadily over the course of the season. Right now, with where our IR is, I'm sure it'll go down a little bit after that. With 21.32, in the top 18.6% of all drivers. Now, that's across all the discipline, not all the all the road disciplines and or cars in in i racing. So, I, I'm good at the TCRs in the shorter 15-minute races. Like you, you put me in with the the longer races I don't do quite so hot. Now, <laughs> just looking at some of these numbers, um, in my five most raced series, this, just by championship points this season, um, in the Touring Car Challenge, I've done all six weeks, um, and my championship position, I'm, I'm first in my division, because we started in low division, because our high rating wasn't high at the beginning of it. But overall, of the 14,196 folks that have participated in, by doing one race, you know, so there could be people who've done one race or people who've done more than me, I'm ranked 184th. That feels pretty awesome. Um, compared to our primary uh, series last season, which was the Porsche Cup, um, with championship points, I was in the open series 758 of 10,556 and 836th out of uh, 12,735 in the fixed series. Um, 
so yeah we're doing a bit better <laughs> um i'm pretty happy about that um just some other things to note i'm i'm trying to look here oh yeah our win percentage um so far this season uh where I've had six wins, which is about 8% of the races I've won. I've won. I have six, eight percent of the races I have run. I've, I've won, which I know that that's not like super high or anything like that, but compared to like last season, I won, uh, five races, which was 2% of the total 208 races that I ran. And that's, Pretty, like 2% was pretty much my career average up till that point, about about that. So like the 8% is a pretty massive jump up for me. Um, oh, I'm just looking at this now. DNFs uh, last season were 17, which is 8%. Where are we at this season? Seven, which is 9%. That's not as great, but I guess our other our driving has made up for that. Um, 10%, zero X races. This, this, um, this season we're at 17% zero incident races. Um, yeah. And just some of these other stats, like, um, the number of laps we've led being at 7% versus last season's 1%, you know? Again, this is a car that I'm very familiar with. I feel pretty good at. Um, I'm not as good at the the, the longer uh, Michelin Pilot Challenge races. We're um, almost 1,200th of 7,500, which is okay. I, I mean, I should be happy with that. Um, but yeah, just the, the staggering jump we've had and like before this week i was feeling like at the beginning of this week it was about 1700 ir um i gained 600 uh this week which is just bonkers um again like i said this is where th this combination was the one that i felt the most comfortable in if you ask me you know hey can you beat 81 percent of the other drivers in iRacing i would say no but if you ask me, hey, can you beat 81% of the other drivers in iRacing at some point in a TCR, I'd say maybe. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with where we're at now. Um, just kind of as a rundown of how the rest of the season went, I'm just going to briefly try and give my, my thoughts on some of the other races we had. Spa went pretty well because we started off a pretty low i rating and that's where we kind of jumped up and kicked things off uh knock hill was stressful um but fun and you know i think things kept going pretty pretty well there uh silverstone i did not do quite as well as i would have liked there but we hung it out and we did okay um, same thing with Knock Hill Reverse, because we had to go the other way around the course. That one was a little bit more scary, I think, than the the, the regular way around the track. Um, but again, we did okay. And I've been, like, I, for whatever reason, this season, I've, I've wanted, I really want to, I, I'm in first place in my division. You get a PDF with your name on it. If you win your division, it says you won your division. I really want that for some reason. Um, so I'm going to try. And sometimes by, by like limiting the number of races you do, it doesn't average in as many um, to your championship points when you do that. So um, on some of these, like the Knock Hill Reverse, I think I didn't do quite as many races as I would have in the past. Um, Long Beach, same thing. I did four races there because I got a good finish on one of them and I didn't want to get a second uh, race averaged in there. But yeah, it was it was all right. Um, I wasn't the speediest boy there by any any stretch of the imagination. And then yeah, this week, um, Summit Point. 
I'm, 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 I did all right. I'm very happy with how we did it at, at Summit Point. Um, the rest of the tracks that are coming up, uh, Watkins Glen International Cup. Um, I've put up a track guide to that already, and um, I think I might do okay there, like be able to hold my own-ish. Um, we're getting to the point where we're just going up against whoever's the fastest people who are online at the moment, so that's scary. Um, but it'll it'll push us to do better, I believe. Um, Orin Park South, I've never done that layout, but uh, I ended up liking Orin Park last time we did it in the TCRs. Um, eventually, but that was the full layout. Uh, Lime Rock Grand Prix, I'm not as good at the Grand Prix layout as the classic one anymore, but I think we should be able to do okay. Uh, Donington Park National, I've n again, the national layout I've not done, but I ended when we were doing it in the GT3s, I ended up liking it. I don't know how it's going to be in the TCRs. Fulton Park, um, Island, again, don't know. I, I, I like Olden Park, but I don't know that layout, so we'll see how it goes when we get there. And then Laguna Seca is going to finish out the season. Um, Laguna Seca's... I like it. It's not my... It's not my strongest, but it's not my worst. So... I think it's kind of like Watkins in that sense, where it's, it's kind of somewhere in the middle for me. But yeah, that's kind of the the Project Get Good update, uh, to kind of where we're at since uh, we last spoke, and I'm super pumped. Um, I guess the the question is, what's what's doing better this season? Like, why 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 why? And I'd have to say that doing these track guides has really pushed me to get really prepped. Um, and get my pace up for the races that we're doing and I have not been doing stuff that I'm not strong at um, So that's really kind of helped. We're still doing the um, We're having our Wednesday night where we do the GT uh, One races this season um, It's one race out of the week. I'm not as strong there, but I'm, I'm doing okay um, And They're fun, you know, it's, it's just some fun um, and it's not going to affect things too much, I don't think. And yeah, it, just the, the additional prep work that I've been putting in. I think, you know, we, we put all that time. We put six months into the TCRs when we first started. And I think that that kind of developed a lot of my driving habits that maybe I've kind of had to work to unlearn as we've been driving rear wheel drive cars because we decided to learn in front wheel drive ones for whatever reason um i think going back to that where that 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 starting point was has really helped so i, th I think those two things are a big point big point big part of why we've been doing well here and like i said i'm super pumped stoked elated even as to as to how things are going so yeah um if you're liking the content hit the subscribe button um we've i've, I've got a track track guides i will have the watkins one linked probably earlier in the video when i was talking about having made it instead of right now but yeah um subscriptions help uh thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you didn't as always, and uh, if you if you want to watch live, uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash thepiltdownman, or where we where we do that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. I hope everything goes great for you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.